time now for Who Owns Kenya, and this week we feature the local oil mining industry, which has been touted as the future of the country. Now, while most Kenyans began to take interest in the oil mining industry in 2009, when various reports about the sale of oil mining blocks began to surface amid allegations of corrupt dealings, Kenya's search for oil actually began in the 1950s. Now BP and Shell were the first companies to drill an exploration well in the country that was in 1960 with no success. Over the past 50 years various companies have tried their luck and failed with over 33 exploration wells being drilled in the country. Of those 33 wells only 16 showed signs of oil but none of them proved to be commercially viable. Let's give you some physical geography now. Kenya's oil exploration is based on four geographical zones known as sedimentary basins, namely the Anza Basin, the Lamu Basin, the Mandera Basin, and the Tertiary Rift. These basins have been subdivided into 46 oil exploration blocks that have been sold off to oil exploration companies. It's worth noting, however, that the government still owns any oil deposits discovered by oil companies with the current deal laying down a profit-earning sharing structure of 50-50 between the government and oil companies. A structure that enables the government, on behalf of the people of Kenya, to review the profit earnings to 78% to the government and 22% to the oil production company. Now, there are currently over 24 oil mining and exploration companies in Kenya that are engaged in oil and gas exploration both on the land and at sea off the coast of Lamu. As earlier mentioned, Kenya has over the last 50 years drilled over 33 exploration wells without striking commercially viable oil deposits. Now the tide changed in March 2012 when President Mwai Kibaki announced that the country had struck oil. And shortly after this, the energy minister, Kirai Tumurungi, showed off a sample of that oil. Some people call it black gold. Now the discovery in Turkana County's Ngamia One Well introduced uh, oil exploration firm Tulo Oil to Kenyans, making it a household name. Since then, the company has struck oil in three other wells still in Turkana County. Tulo Oil struck in oil in Ngamia One, that was in March 2012, as mentioned. Then came another discovery in November 2012 at the Twiga South One Well. The third discovery was made in July this year at the Etuko One Well, with the latest discovery having been made just last month at Ekalis One. Now, all four oil discoveries are in Turkana County. Though Tala Oil has been in the public limelight, the four oil wells uh, were jointly acquired with Canadian oil exploration firm Africa Oil, which holds a joint license with Tala Oil for the Ngamia One and Etuko One oil wells. The Twiga South One and Ekalis One wells are jointly licensed to Tala Oil, Africa Oil and the National Oil Corporation of Kenya. In total, Tala Oil estimates that the country's four oil discoveries are 300 million barrels of oil. The firm's partner, Africa Oil, estima, uh, gives an estimate of 20.1 billion barrels of oil and 0.9 trillion cubic feet of natural gas. This, of course, includes other oil blocks that are yet to be fully explored. By Tullo's estimates 300 of 300 million barrels, the country's discovered oil reserves would amount to 2.6 trillion shillings at the current oil prices. No quote this week, but the big question, Turkana, which has been so poor and struggled for so long, has so much wealth, how do we ensure that this wealth is translated into a good standard of living that's for the people of Turkana? I think that's a big question. We call it a diamond in the rough. It certainly has been, and a beautiful place if you've never been there. Stunning, stunning. Rustic, but stunning. Good news in sports, Bernard, course, and welcome to the studio. Of in the world of sports. Of course, it was a fantastic day for Kenyan athletes. Uh, they competed in two marathons, locally here, the Nairobi Marathon, mm -hmm. as well as internationally, and they dominated both. Wonderful news. Over to you. We have all that and much more ahead on Sunday Live Sports after this.